Well, this is the lineup of the, the must is not wine yet that we have on winery going on now. Uh, we put them in order from the driest to the one that had the most, uh, the highest sugar level, mm -hmm. so that it they didn't uh, yeah. fool you on yeah. the mouth, okay? Sure. Because the sugar always show a big thing, uh, lots of volume and everything, but it's not that true. And then we have here three whites that are already done, meaning alcoholic fermentation. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are here. Uh, the Semio actually finished it yesterday, so it's just been wrecked today, so it's maybe a bit confused. It's far away from being the final product, but we'll tell you already what can it be, sure. what, what can it show. So you start to split? Yeah, it's to split. You can pick up another one there. Right. If I try the Antara Bash. That one is the opposite. That is must. That is starting. Oh, that's must, okay. Yeah. So the two, those two are dry, dry that dry, is starting. Yeah. And the other one is Verdeiro. Semio, we wanted to make it bit more full body because it's not so rich on flavors, it's not his best part. What we want is some structure, some, some body. Verdelho is a very interesting kind of red. A fresh, with nice acidity and very, very aromatic. The aim, what we are looking here, you know, Alentejo is a, is a hot area during this part of the year. Our main goal is to keep it fresh, young and fresh is what we want for our verdadeo. That's our, our goal. And we think we are being able to... It has a nice acidity. Mm. Uh, it's uh, not uh, a full body wine and we don't want it to be. What we want is flavors and freshness for that kind of grape. This grape variety, Trincadeira. Uh, very difficult on the vineyard, I don't know if yeah. Antoni told you that. Yeah. It's very difficult to make it on the vineyard and it's also difficult to manage on the winery. It has big berries, so you have a lot of pulp for uh, few skin. It's difficult to have the, nice, the, the best color that uh, we want. It's, it's difficult to have a full body wine, it's difficult to have a tannic wine. But uh, in the other hand, you can have it fresh, young and uh, with a with a elegance that is difficult to find in other grapes. It's very floral, think of that. The problem is to pick it once again, to mm. pick it in the correct time. Mm. Because it's very difficult on the vineyard this one. It have a slower maturation mm. with big berries. If a rain comes in the last phase of the cycle, they will just explode uh, yeah. and yeah. everything is ruinish. So uh, this is a difficult one on the field and on the winery. <coughs> then we need to extract enough color, but we don't want to extract greenness and yeah. hard tanning. So it's a difficult wine to make. And mm. we are not able to do it every year because yeah. not every year yeah. allowed us to do it. Mm. This year, I think we have accomplished to do it. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Mainly what we want to decide up here, when I'm making the tasting with Hugo, Hugo is the, the other person that is another winemaker that we, we are the team, and Sioranti is the headmaster. What we are aiming is, in the first group, we are trying to find if they need to be helped, some correction, more, more oxygen going in, because they are a bit reduced or not, yeah. uh, to uh, increase the temperature or not, to make a, a bigger extraction, if we have to bring tenants or not, we are able to do that. In that, in that last part, what we are aiming for now is just to see what is the potential that they have. How should we work them in the, in the days to come? So it's two different things that we try to, to understand here, okay? Because this is must, this is juice, it's very difficult to understand. The sugar will always uh, make tricks on you. That's still quite variety. Ah, you can, you can feel, you, you can see that they are different. Mm. That is yes. the first thing, but what is difficult to say is this Syrah, it, it, it will be incognito or it mm. will be Cortestima style. Mm. So that is the difficult part in this time. Mm. You, of course, with experience, with the years and years of making vintage, you start to realize where they are going. Mm.